Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this lovely 2021 Infiniti Q50 Lux All Wheel Drive in the beautiful shade of Dynamic Sunston, a beautiful shade of red. Pretty rare color for the Q50. You don't find too many of these in this uh, lovely color combination on a graphite interior. Um, this one was recently retired out of our loaner car fleet. The way that works is we'll take a new car out of our uh, new car inventory and we'll put it in loaner car service for a year or two. One of the benefits of being a, uh, a new Infinity customer or a certified Infinity customer is you get complimentary Infinity service loaner vehicles for extended service stays. So that's basically what this one did. For the last couple of years, we loaned it out to our service customers. Now it has been retired out of our loaner car fleet and it's available for sale uh, of only 19,672 miles. It's been in our care, an Infinity dealership care since new. Uh, beautiful shape inside and out. So if you're looking for a nice, a uh, compact luxury sedan uh, with sporty performance and all-wheel drive traction. The Q50 is a great one to consider. Uh, we have a nice list of equipment on this one. We have the moonroof, beautiful aluminum trim. This one features a seven-speed automatic transmission. You also have a manual shift mode. You pull the shifter back, you push it to the left, you push up to up, uh, up shift, you pull back to downshift. When you downshift, it will give you rev match downshifts for a sportier sound and feel. We have heated front seats. Heated steering wheel. We have a rear parking camera as well as a 360 degree round view monitor. We also have backup collision intervention. So if you're backing up in a person or a vehicle is gonna cross your path while backing up, it'll automatically hit the brakes. A great safety feature. Even though this one does not have uh, navigation, uh, in 2020, uh, they upgraded the infotainment system to be Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. So you can have navigation on your phone and project it right on the screen here. We have a universal garage door opener. Uh, steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, uh, blind spot warning. We have a whole suite of safety and technology. The bottom screen is a tablet-like interface for vehicle settings and apps. You can also uh, check uh, through the different safety features and uh, drive settings. Here is a drive mode selector. You also have one here as well where you can kind of make quick adjustments. Here you can kind of personalize a little bit more. You can make changes to the engine and transmission. You can make changes to the steering. Active trace control brakes individual wheels to help the vehicle rotate through the corners a little bit better. You can shut that on or off. Uh, really cool stuff. And then um, we have our driver's assistance. So we have a uh, distance control assist. So it will uh, encourage the vehicle to slow down with fast approaching traffic. We have blind spot warning. Um, we have a uh, lane departure warning. And then we have emergency braking, forward emergency braking. The Q50 is available in either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Uh, a lot of the Q50s that you find up here in the Pacific Northwest are gonna have all wheel drive just generally because that's what people like for our wet slippery climate. And obviously if you're gonna drive in the snow, you're gonna do better with all wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. This one's built on a balanced uh, uh, front, uh, not front wheel drive, a rear wheel drive platform. It actually shares its advanced front midship platform with the Nissan 370Z. Uh, the new Z that came out uh, shares its platform with the Q50 and the VR30 uh, engine they've been putting in the Q50 since, uh, since 2016 is also the new engine in the new Nissan Z. Uh, in the Z it makes 400 horsepower. You can get a 400 horsepower with the Red Sport 400, but the regular versions make 300 horsepower. I can tell you, even though this is not as fast as a Red Sport, with uh, 300 horsepower this thing is very, very quick. And we also have an amazing all-wheel drive system with lots of pedigree. Uh, this all-wheel drive system is called a TESA, which stands for Advanced Total Traction Engineering, Engineering System for All-Terrain. Uh, it's a rear-wheel drive biased all-wheel drive system. Uh, we originally uh, derived it from an early version of the Nissan Skyline, the R32 Skyline. Uh, this is a racing-inspired all-wheel drive system that has helped uh, the Skyline achieve uh, legendary racing success. We've been using this all-wheel drive system in Infinity products for about 20 years. It's been in also in a variety of uh, Nissan products. Um, it's a rear-wheel drive biased all-wheel drive system. So under normal driving conditions, like when it's dry like this, it'll be 100% rear-wheel drive to give you the feel of a rear-wheel drive sports car, but it also will help improve gas mileage because if the all-wheel drive system is constantly working all the time, it's going to use more gas. Uh, but this car has a brain that's constantly monitoring driving conditions. so. Um, as soon as those rear wheels slip in a matter of milliseconds, almost instantly, it can send up to 50% of the vehicle's power to the front wheels. So you have that amazing, uh, amazing racing inspired intelligent all wheel drive system. 
And then the advanced front engine pl platform, what's special about that is they take the engine and they place it as far back behind the front axle as possible. So the center of gravity is towards the middle of the vehicle and that helps improve handling and performance. Uh, that's why this thing it shares its platform with the Nissan Z. Infinity wanted to make a, a sedan, a luxury sedan that also has some serious sporting nature. And that is exactly the case with the Q50. And even though this is not the high performance red sport version, 400 version, this thing is still very sporty and fun to drive in its own right. Thank you for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day.